Hey guys, welcome to One Fred Jones Plays Satisfactory. So in last episode, we set up a few machines to get us some resources so that we can start building our base. Uh, we got concrete going on right here. You can see it on the belt, concrete. We've got copper wire being made over there. Um, iron rods and iron plate being made over here. And we also have another concrete constructor happening right over here. So we got all this going on. Um, I did say that between episodes I was going to gather up a bunch of leaves so that we can keep our biomass burners going and let these machines run to build up a lot of resources. And we did. Um, only thing is, is I kind of unlocked something in between episodes. Now, the reason why I did it was because I gathered up just about every leaf I could gather, gather by hand in this whole area. And I decided that it was best not to just feed this guy biomass. So I unlocked biofuel. So if you go look in here, our first uh, tier one unlock is utility and you get biofuel. So instead of trying to keep the generators running on biomass, I thought I'd use a more, more efficient form of fuel. And so I went ahead and unlocked that so that I could keep everything going easy, easily, more easily, yeah. So I did that. So now, in this episode, what we need to work on is unlocking some other things. We need logistics. We definitely need that for the conveyor belts, the conveyor lifts. I mean, conveyor mergers, conveyor lifts. We need to get personal storage so we can get some more space in our inventory. Conveyor walls, I'm not too worried about. We most likely will unlock that today, but we won't use it. Now, part assembly, we will unlock, but we're not going to use this either. Not yet. We want to get our, our base up and going first and foremost. Here's the first thing I want to unlock though. Obstacle clearing because I want this chainsaw. I want this chainsaw and I want five more inventory slots. The main reason why I want the chainsaws is like I said, I gathered up just about every leaf in this area that can be gathered by hand. Now to get more biomass to make more biofuel, we need to cut these trees down. So we can go around cutting down trees and then we can turn that tree, the tree leaves and the tree wood into biomass and then turn that biomass into biofuel it'll make things a lot easier so let's go ahead and get started on that so tier two obstacle clearing we're going to need some reinforced iron plates and some rods so let's go grab that we'll run over here grab some rods we most likely have everything we need in our inventory to get the reinforced iron plates made and we've got everything else, so we'll do that real quick. Reinforced iron plates. We'll get this unlocked and then we'll build us a chainsaw. We'll go cut stuff down for a minute. By the end of the episode, though, hopefully we've got um, everything unlocked in here. And then next episode, we can start laying down foundations and start really doing a lot of work. So that, some rods, some more rods, some copper wire and copper cable. Boom. Oh, and then we gotta watch the pod take off. Don't forget to watch your Milestone pod take off. Reached. Additional to an inventory expansion, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Yay! So there he goes. He's gonna be gone for five minutes total. But while he's doing that, oh, the chainsaw has to be made over here, I bet. We need a chainsaw. We do. So we need five more reinforced plates and a bunch of screws. So let's go make that. Five more reinforced plates. Well, we're going to need a lot of screws, right? So let's just make a bunch of screws. Luckily, screws get made quite quickly. Handcraft a bunch of these guys. Make some reinforced plates. Grab some biomass out of the storage over here. Oh, we're going to need more screws, huh? I made too many reinforced plates. Oops. That might be enough screws. We'll grab some biofuel because that's what the chainsaw runs on is biofuel. Chainsaw one. Craft. I think we have a slot to uh, put the chainsaw in as well. An arm slot. So let's see. Oh, we do. We have to put the food. Kick the food out. But that's alright. So chainsaw. All right, so now we'll run around a little bit, gather up a bunch of wood and leaves. 
I do have a small stockpile of biomass or biofuel. Um, not very big though. So I'll go ahead and grab all this stuff while the pod's out. And then when the pod gets back, I'll bring you guys back and we'll unlock something else. Alright guys, the pod is coming back and I have gathered up a lot of wood and leaves. So let's go in here and see if we can unlock something else. Let's see, logistics. We need some plates, so let's go grab some plates. We'll send it off again, make some biofuel. Is that, oh yeah, we're gonna have enough room, right? Oh, yeah, this, kind of something funny about this game, even though there's space in that stack, it will not move it over unless you do it by hand. So I'll move those over. We'll run back over here, unlock logistics, and then we'll make some biofuel. Oh, don't we need... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm an idiot. Okay. Rods, 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 and plates. Send this guy off again. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. I didn't realize that was part of it. Let's go look. Now, productivity display. Huh. Is that this right here? It's kind of cool, right? It's running at 100% efficiency. That one's only running at 50. Probably, probably because it cannot get rid of the iron ingots fast enough. It's because it's full of iron ore. Yeah, it's not running because... Yeah, okay. I got it. I got it. Anytime the machine is not running goes against its, e its efficiency. So, you need to keep the machines running, Fred. Jeez. Alright, so we got some inventory space. We can make a bunch of biomass out of the wood. Then we'll make a bunch of biomass out of the leaves. And as you can see, we have a lot more wood than we do leaves. I don't know why it takes longer to make biomass out of leaves, but it does. And now biofuel. Oh, we got tons of biofuel. Look at this. I love it. We are about at our max on our, on our uh, power. So... We're going to have to do something about power. I don't know if I want to do it before or after we move the hub. Probably after. But wow, we are making a lot of biofuel. I didn't realize I collected that many in that short amount of time. Okay, so tons of biofuel. Put away that biomass for now. Fill these guys up. Stack of 200 in each. And then we'll put away what we've got in our inventory. I don't know that I need to gather any more right now, so we're not going to. Um, we do have 19 seconds. Oh, and I can hear the hub coming back right now. Perfect. Or the hub, I mean the uh, pod. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. The flowers we don't need. Throw that stuff in there. And look, what else can we unlock? Okay, personal storage, let's do that. We need more rods and more copper wire. Go grab the copper wire. Now we probably will put down a few um, foundations this episode. Because I want to kind of get an idea of what we're going to do uh, before I end the episode. I mean, I already have an idea. I want you guys to know what, what, what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do. So, go over here. Put this in here. Um, that's all the rods we need. Plates now. Perfect. 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 And again. Milestone reached. 
Additional storage options. Have More been storage. Perfect. All right, so um, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and let the pod take off. It's gonna be back in two minutes, and I'll see you then. All right, guys, pod's back, so we'll grab some resources. I just want to fill my inventory with a lot of these resources so that when we start unlocking things, we'll have everything that we need. I say start unlocking things, but obviously we've already been unlocking things. Let's go get the next one, though, and it's going to be the skip conveyor walls. Does it tell you how long the pod will be gone for? It doesn't. Um, let's make some copper wire here, though. Or copper cable, I'm sorry. Pick up some more copper cable. I don't know that we need that many. We need 100, right? And we'll do this one. Which was part assembly. And we'll send this guy off. Maybe look at what else we can do. Oh, I need more rods. Man, these resources are going fast now, aren't they? Oh, it's a six minute Milestone pod launch. Reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Yay! Alright, so did we unlock anything in here? We didn't, did we? Nope, chainsaw, beacon, yada yada. Oh, you know what we need to do is start researching things. Let's go in here. Um, let's do the flower petals. We'll grab some flower petals out of here. Select them. Do that. Now from what I understand you can get a paint gun basically that will allow you to paint your machines so we can get kind of a one Fred Jones uh, Scheme. A scheme is the word that's coming to mind, but that's not the right word, is it? A theme. One Fred Jones theme going on with the machines. We'll paint them green. It'll be great. It'll look, it'll look amazing. Alright, so then, how long does that take? That takes four minutes. Wow. Alright, see you guys in about five minutes. Alright guys, the pod is just about back. I can hear it. Oh, there it is. So let's go ahead and run in here and we'll check on our research. It says... R&D wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 <laughs> surveillance. The derived blueprint is now I don't quite understand two. why they're warning me about being under surveillance, but... It unlocks something under tier two, which is color gun. Yeah. Okay. So let's unlock this. We'll go plates, rods, cable, or wire, I mean. Wire, I said. Send that off. Three, or almost three minutes, two and a half minutes. Okay. And then that's all we really want to do, right? We could do these alien... Carapace. We have eight of them. Might as well. Um, we only need one. Right now, anyways. And that's a seven and a half minute research. Put these guys back, though. And then while we're waiting for the pod to come back this time, I want to start laying down some, some foundations. So, I want the base to kind of go out in that direction there. So let's get up our build menu, not walls, but foundations. Put our foundation down. So we'll kind of rotate it to where this foundation points in about that direction. I do want to see if it'll drop down a little because I want to cover up this ore, kind of. Kind of. Like this. The reason why I'm doing this is so that our our miner will snap to the foundation and line up the way I want it to. So we got some portable miners in here, right? Yep. Okay. So one of those. 
and then we'll put down a miner right on top of that ore production production I said miner mk1 it snaps perfectly right boom so we'll put him down there and then what we're gonna have to do we'll pull up foundations again oops wrong button pull up foundations again and do these half foundations and then we want to kind of pillar up like you would in Minecraft just jump up and place foundations underneath us until we get above that miner Is that high enough? I think it might be. Then we'll go all the way back with foundations into that cliffside. Oh no, I can't afford. Oh no, oh no, Fred. Um, how many do we, do we just need one? If we just need one, we'll be set. No, we need more than that. But they clip right into the, the cliff side there. It'll be perfect. So this will be where all of our smelting happens on this floor. So down here we're going to be mining things up. And then we're going to use the conveyor lifts to conveyor that materials up to that floor. I think it is perfect, isn't it? Perfect height anyways. Yep. I don't know how much... No, that'll be great. That'll, that'll work out really well. Um, I was a little concerned about the smoke or the pollution coming off the, the machines, but it doesn't look like um, any pollution comes off the miners. I mean, it is... Yeah, it's working, so... I have to imagine that if it's working, it should be putting off um, any pollution that it would be putting off. So that's perfect height. We might still run into some problems where we have smoke coming up through the floor as we go up. You guys will see what I'm talking about in the future. So is our pod already back? Oh, it is. Perfect. Pod's back. Let's unlock another thing. Um, let's go ahead and just get conveyor walls out of the way, huh? So that, this, that, that. Oh, this is going to be too easy. All right, so two minutes on this one. Milestone reached. To Yay! Oh, well, this should be done as well, right? Oh no, that's a seven minute. I thought it, I thought it was only a three minute, but a seven minute. There goes the pod. So we can go over and work on this some more. Um, I need more concrete, right? And this is why we've got two of these concrete um, constructors going, because we're going to need a lot of concrete. To get this base up and going the way I want to do it. Now, you could do it in stages, but it would be much more difficult, I think. We should be able to place a lot of these foundations from down here. Like this one right here, for example. Come on. Boom. Yep. Just keep coming over. Like so. I don't know why I feel like I have to go all the way up against the uh, cliffside, but I, I just do. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to place them, but... Then we can come across here, right? Oh, well, let me place it there because of that power pole. One there, though. One there. Perfect. So, in order to keep going that way, we're going to have to pick up those machines. And I'm not quite ready to do that yet. Oh, look. Honestly, I want those storage containers full before I start tearing down any of those machines. Mainly because we're going to need 
a lot of resources when we get building the base. We start putting in the machines, crafting everything up. Pods back. Jump pads. Copper wire. Can I make a bunch of copper wire? Copper cable, I mean. I always say that. I don't know why I keep calling copper cable copper wire, but I do. And I guess I don't even have to say copper. I could just say wire or cable. Oh, and then let's go ahead and select this so that we know what we're, what we're after. So we just need a hundred of those. Probably going to need quite a few more, but we'll just start with a hundred. So, cable, rods, plates, more plates, more rods. Yeah, the resources really get going fast when you start unlocking things like this. Alright, four minute jaunt. Milestone reached. Buildings aimed at factory traversal. So Including color gun's done. We can look into that now. Pads can now be uh, walkways the is the last thing, right? Caution is recommended during use of these products. We can select the milestone so we know what we need. Um, I've got 32 reinforced plates. Let's go grab... We're going to need this stuff anyways. Let's go grab some plates and some rods. And start working on the color gun and see what that takes exactly. I just felt like I needed another stack. Alright, so color gun's in here, I bet. So cartridge, color cartridge. I don't know how many of these we need. Okay, so we'll do 50, one color gun. That takes a minute, right? So, um, I've never actually used... I've seen this used before, but I've never actually used it before. So let's look. I imagine you put it in your hand. Press R to load it. And then... Oh, you have to... Hmm. I might have to cut away and then look up what you have to do. Um, hmm. Is that your default? So let's edit this. If we go, I don't even really know green, right? Those greens are ugly. I don't know, that's not too bad. Can you use your arrow keys? You cannot. I mean, that's it's not great, but so that's your primary color, and the one down below it is your. What if I do this? Oh, that don't look bad. That's oh, okay. All right, right there. Then your secondary color, we want to do something else with it. We want a more of a. What else if I go over here? And over here. Update preset. Confirm. Alright. So. Everything changed colors. Look at that. It's one Fred Jones colors. Oh, that's tight. I like it. I like it a lot. My machines are green and white. Perfect. Everything is too. So I don't have to go through and, and paint everything. I just have to set the preset. That's perfect. All right, so let's unlock another thing. Um, in a minute is what I said. <laughs> okay. We can put down some more foundations, though, while we wait, huh? So, foundations. I don't know how far... Yeah, let's go out a little more with these. At least one more. Then we can come over here. If I'm on the same level as the, the foundations, it's really easy to spam down a bunch of foundations. Did I? I did. I didn't mean to stack that, but I did. I need to put foundations on my hotbar too. Let's do that. So, Q, foundations, let's do nine. Oh, 
Did it move to nine? Oh, it did. Perfect. Okay, pod's back. We're almost back. That pod's beautiful. Beautiful green pod. It's perfect. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, reinforced plates. Regular plates. Rods. And now we have walkways. Milestone is that After medical consultation, it? That is it. Until we get some more research added. done. Let's see if we can do some more research. In the build menu. Additional samples are required. Oh, and it wants more. I think you can actually get... How many is the walk? The has been named Phacocoirus plumius nada or fluffy-tailed hogs. Fluffy-tailed fluffy -tailed hogs. So I only have seven. We'd have to go kill some more. Um, yeah, let's let's go do that real quick. Maybe end the episode killing them. That'd be great. I know there's a couple over here somewhere. At least one over here. It's getting dark though. We're gonna have to hurry. I did take a few shots in between episodes. I was gathering leaves and some fluffy-tailed hogs. Caught me unexpectedly. Lost some health, but I'm fine. Should be one around here somewhere. There he is. Come here, guy. That's how that's done. Let's go see if we can find another one. Well, we need two more, right? We'll go get two more. I think there's a couple over here. And we, next episode, first thing we're doing, we're going to go grab power slugs. See that guy over there? All right, here's two fluffy-tailed hogs. And they're both aggro. I love it. That one's not aggro anymore now, is it? Come on, buddy. See the technique? Perfect technique for killing fluffy-tailed hogs. We'll run back to the base. We'll get this research started. Call it an episode. It's going to be a good time. I'm excited about this base. I really am. Um, I played around with it a little bit in the streams. Uh, it really didn't go too far in the streams, but... I don't know why I keep saying in the streams, but in while I was streaming, I streamed some of this. Uh, I've got a lot of better ideas. We're going to do in this playthrough. It's going to be great. Oh, look. It even looks cool already. It even looks cool already. In the, uh, in the stream, or in my live stream... I actually didn't do that layer right there. I skipped that layer, and I, I did something kind of different. But, oh look, there's power slugs all over the place. We can go grab one right now, I suppose. We can also research those guys and get power shards, which will help us increase the efficiency of our machines or help us boost our machines. We can do that next episode for sure. Oh! Oh, I thought I was going to jump off of there. So we'll collect this guy. And then, oh, jump. Fall to the ground, I mean. Jump, fall to the ground. Same thing, right? But we'll go over here. Get this research started. See if I didn't grab my other seven that are in here. Those guys. Pod's back. I don't think there's anything to uh, do, is there? Let's make sure before we end the episode. You guys go in there, begin analysis, 12 minutes. Is he back yet? It's taking him forever. Land, dude. Jeez. Yeah, that's it. Until this finishes its research. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Remember, two days a week, I'm going to be on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Jones. Come check us out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.